Hello, this is Alan Forbes. I'm the author of the book The Joy of PHP, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the source code that comes along with the book. Now, you, if you uh, read the book, you know at the very beginning one of the first things you need to do is get WAMP if you are a Windows user, or XAMP if you are a Mac user. And you can see from the screen here that I am a Windows user, so I'm going to start up WAMP. I'll go to the Start menu, click on Start WAMP Server. It comes up with a security alert. I'm going to say yes. I do want to allow WAMP to come up. That is, after all, why I clicked on it. Now, you'll see a new icon that will appear in the corner here. That's the WAMP server. And it shows you that the server is online if it's green. Uh, if it's red, that means that it's the, the WAMP uh, control panel is running, but the services themselves are not. And when you click on it with the left mouse button, you get one menu. And when you click on it with the other menu, the other button, you get a different menu. So I'm going to click it with the primary mouse button and click on localhost. That will launch your default browser, show you the home page for, uh, in my case, the WAMP server, and it shows you your server configuration. So here I've got Apache version 2.2.21 and PHP 5.3.10 and MySQL version 5.5.20. Here are the various uh, extensions, and extensions are things that are added into PHP that allow you to do things that are um, not native to the language, but added onto it. I also talk about PHP My Admin in the book, which is a very helpful tool. Uh, I'm going to open that up in another window here. Just right-click, open link in a new tab. So here's my PHP My Admin window. It shows all of my databases and the various things I can do with them. And I'll go back to my WAMP server home page here. And it will show you all the different projects that you have under your www folder. Um, so in this case, I'm going to go into the joy of PHP folder. It gives me a list of all the files that are in that folder. These are all the files that come with the book if you download the zip file. And if you scroll through there, you'll see uh, something called home.html. Uh, it's just a regular old HTML file. <coughs> And if you click on that, it sort of describes uh, what the point of the source code is. It has some links to some other uh, external sites, like where you can get the um, text editors, where you can download WAMP if you don't have it already, where you can download XAMPP if you're a Mac user. Um, and then it has some real simple links here, like is PHP running on my machine? Click on localhost. We saw that already. We know that it is. Uh, some real simple PHP scripts. That's my, one of my first examples in the book. And there's some things in here so that if you follow along with the examples of uh, Sam's used cars, you'll need to have a database. And if you click on this link without uh, editing it, you'll see some errors. Uh, the errors are if you do not have your password in there. So if I switch over, you'll see the little note here. It says, before you can use this, you need to edit line 8. So that database is the, that script is the create db PHP script. Let me switch over to, this here I have the create db PHP script. And you'll see it's not really line 8, it's line 7. Well, hopefully you can find it there. Here you put in your, the name of your server, your username, and your password. And once you put that in there, the script should run just fine. I do walk you through uh, what the script does uh, in the book. But basically what it does is it uh, creates a database called cars, creates a, a database table called inventory with the following fields, and then it inserts some sample data uh, into the database so that your um, database looks cool when you play around with it. Let's go back to the browser here. Up at the very top, it says, uh, the book walks you through creating a website for Sam's used cars. And you see there's a link there. And if I click on that, it will take you to Sam's used cars, the, the website, and then all the, the different forms that I talk about, like how to 
add a car to the database. I click on that. You put in the VIN, the make, the model, and the price, and hit submit. Uh, if you wanted to see the, the view, the cars that were already in the database, you click on view cars. Okay, here's an example of what you might see if your password is not typed in correctly. Now this particular um, script you can see as I mouse over it, it shows down in the, in the bar down here. That's the view cars PHP script. If I click on uh, my PHP designer and go into view cars, you'll see that that script has an include statement, include db.php, and when I put it in this uh, source code out to you guys, obviously I didn't include my own secret password in there, so that's why it didn't work. I'm going to pause this video for just a second, put my password into the uh, the DB PHP script. It's real simple. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I typed in my super secret password. I'll go back into the Sam's used car website and click on view cars. And you'll see this time it gives me a list of all the cars in the database. The only difference was uh, making sure that you had the proper username and password for MySQL. Now I also have a view cars with style. There I used a little bit of uh, CSS to make the their presentation a little easier on the eyes. But you'll still see that there's no links there. You can't actually do anything. This would be more of a, an inventory listing. <coughs> and then there's a view cars with edit links. So here it shows um, the cars and each one of these is a hyperlink and if as I mouse over it, you can see it says right down in the bottom here, uh, in the case of this Volkswagen view car and VIN equals, and then that uh, long string of digits that follows after it tells PHP uh, which database record to retrieve. So if I click on that, you show it comes up and shows uh, all the details about the car, the Volkswagen Golf, the asking price, the exterior car. Um, color, interior color, and so forth. Of course, it will only have the information up to what you've put in there for it. <coughs> you can also edit the car. And you can also even delete the car if that's what you want to do. So, All right, I hope you found this uh, little walkthrough uh, useful. If you do have any problems using the sample code or understanding the book, I do encourage you to send me an email. My email address is in the book, and I will answer every email I get um, if I can. Thanks very much for watching, and thanks for buying my book.